Hello. You must be the next appointment. Come on in. You seem a little anxious. A little lost. Were you looking for the college complaints department? Yes, I'm sure you were. With such a puzzled look on your face. Don't worry. You are in the right place. As you can see, I'm already reading your little complaint. The form you filled out and submitted. Oh, you weren't expecting to see me here, your own teacher? Your hypnosis teacher? Oh, I see here on your form that you don't call me that. It says here that you call me your social studies teacher. Well, of course, and yet, I am the one who keeps hypnotizing you in my classes, aren't I? Hypnotizing you over and over? Every time you come to my class. Always arriving early now. Always taking your seat right at the very front of the class so you can watch me so clearly seeing everything I do. Isn't that right? I am the teacher you were complaining about. The one who hypnotizes her students. I am the teacher with the shiny red pen. This shiny red pen, aren't I? And I'm quite sure you remember this pen, don't you? And you love to focus all your attention right here on my pen as I move it back and forth right in front of you. Yes. And somehow you just seem to find my shiny red pen so very hypnotizing, don't you? Yes. So fascinating to watch. Watching the pen moving slowly back and forth. Following my words as you watch the pen go back and forth. Trying to follow my words. Trying to focus on the lessons you're learning. By focusing on the words. Or by focusing on the pen. And I know it can be so hard for you. Knowing where you need to focus. Do you focus on the pen as I'm talking, or focus on my words as I move the pen, moving left to right, or right to left, watching my words, or listening to the pen? I know it can be so confusing, so mesmerizing, watching and focusing, focusing and following, yes, everyone knows it's just so easy to just focus on the sound of my voice, 
on the way my words are so mesmerizing, hypnotizing you. Every time you listen to my voice is the way I like to train my subjects. I mean, teach them, of course. And now you decided to submit a complaint to bring all of this to our attention. Of course you're right. Something needs to be done. And so they sent your complaint to me, just as you were sent to me. And here we are. It's just the two of us now. And I see on your complaint, it says right here that you find your teacher impossible to resist. Interesting. That you won't refuse her anything. Fascinating. I see you've been paying such close attention in class. Just like you're paying attention to me now. Just like you're here for another one of my special lessons. So why don't you just relax? You're here after all. We really should deal with your little complaint. Just take a seat. You take the couch. I'll take the stool. No, I really insist. I want you to be comfortable. And I know you'll find you can really sink into that couch. You can feel so relaxed because I like perching up here on the stool. It makes it even easier for you to admire my legs. I saw you looking at them as soon as you came in. It's hard for you to not look. Hard to not stare. It's so much easier to just relax and sink. Watching the way my legs move as I dangle them from the stool. Noticing the way my skirt rides up as I first cross one leg over the other and crossing them back again. That's right. Seeing what that does to the shape of my legs. Fascinated to watch as I bounce my knee, swinging my foot, watching my shiny leather heels, moving back and forth, such shiny black leather with such long slender heels, perfect for you to stare and watch as I swing them back and forth, needing to watch my sexy leather heels now, dangling them from my pretty foot, dangling and swinging as you watch, fascinated, sinking, helplessly staring, and I know right now that's all you really want, because right now that just feels 
so good for you. Feeling so good to just be so obedient, so responsive to my words. That's right. Just watch my heels dangling and swinging, just like you do in my classes. Sitting at the front. Such a teacher's pet you are. And that's all you want to be right now. Because you feel pleasure whenever you obey me. Feeling so much pleasure now. Just because you have to obey whenever your owner snaps her fingers and says the word pleasure. When I snap my fingers and say the word pleasure, I'm giving a command and you always obey my commands because you want to feel so much pleasure. Yes, feeling it now because I'm giving you the command to feel pleasure. Mm, good pet. Obedient pet. Obedience is pleasure. Feeling it now. All through your mind and all through your body. And each time I snap my fingers and give you the command, your mind obeys and your body obeys. And this just happens so automatically. Your body now obeys the command anytime from now on that I snap my fingers and command you to feel so much pleasure. Feeling your mind and body obey my commands so easily and effortlessly. Anytime I hypnotize you, anytime you want to feel this good, just finding you obey my commands so naturally, and no feeling every suggestion I give you, just sinking in, sinking deep inside of you, so deep that you just have to obey. You want to obey, feeling my words now change you, changing your mind, changing your desire. So all you want is to be trained to obey even more. Trained to obey, trained to please, you want to be trained to please your mistress. You want to be trained to become my perfectly obedient hypnotic pet. Where you can just obey my voice and just obey my words without thinking. And now you realize 
that you just want this very badly. You need this. You need to feel so much pleasure by just becoming my obedient pet. And now in a moment, when I count you down from three down to one and tell you to sleep, you will naturally and easily obey my commands because you now know that obeying my commands just feels so good and just fills you with pleasure. Feeling even more pleasure in just a moment because you're going to fall into an even deeper trance for teacher where you can just feel so very good and find my words becoming so very powerful for you. Three, two, one. Sleep deeper. Three, two, one. Sleep going even deeper, deeper into this obedient trance and deeper into this pleasure as you just sleep. Good. Feeling so relaxed and feeling so good. Just like every time that you listen to my voice and follow my words. Just like every time you come to my class. Sitting at the front, focusing on my lesson, and drifting away on the sound of my voice, and daydreaming, daydreaming of becoming the perfect pet for your teacher, just staring at my sexy heels, dangling and swinging. Perhaps you'd like a closer look. A much closer look. Be a good pet. Why don't you crawl over here? And now you notice I'm holding something in my hand. A very special gift from a teacher. It's just for you, my pet. It's just what you need. A beautiful leather collar. It's black leather matching my shoes and it's perfect for you. And this just makes you so happy. You feel so special to be rewarded by teacher. Being rewarded for being good, being responsive, feeling yourself swell with pride, just hearing me tell you that you've been good. And now I'm putting it on you, placing it over your neck pulling it and closing the buckle, locking it firmly in place. I'm collaring you, patting your head as I straighten again, standing above you, admiring my new pet. Good doggy. And now you just feel wonderful, so happy to be my pet, so lucky to have a new owner, and now you see that in my hand I'm holding something else, more 
leather for you. I'm holding your leash, and you could smell the scent of the leather. Such a powerful scent, filling your senses. So exciting, and you feel just so excited, overwhelmed with all the pleasure you're feeling. Perhaps I'll take you for a walk. I know you want that, being such a good, obedient pet for teacher. So. Well behaved, so responsive. Walking on all fours, such an obedient doggy for me. Such an obedient pet for teacher. With your nose so close to these sexy leather heels. Being walked on your leash. Walked by your owner. Everyone's seen how proud you are. Crawling behind as I walk you. Crawling on all fours. Showing everybody that you know your place, and just how well trained you are now. Stopping at my heel. And I just know, you're going to make the perfect teacher's pet. And all you need is more training. Letting me hypnotize you, again and again. Falling for it every time. Wanting it, needing it. And you will find, when you wake from this trance. That you just want more training. You want more of this control, and now you know that you need to train often, so you can really become my obedient pet. And you will want to come see me again, taking all of my classes, hypnosis one o one, and. Hypnosis, one o two. And you want to find every class you can. And now it's time for you to go. And return to your waking mind. My next student is already waiting to see me. And so now it's time for you to one, two, three, wake up. Next, please. Hello. You must be the next appointment. Come on in. You seem a little lost. Were you looking for the college complaints department?